Hi everyone, the objectives of this video are to understand planar defects. So this is going to be in the form of grain boundaries, twin boundaries, and we're also going to have a look at stacking faults. Okay, so a grain boundary is the region between a crystal. So let's have a look here. As you can see, we have some clearly defined crystal alignment. So you can see one region here, another region here, another region here. So the boundaries between them, where it's a bit messy, that's the grain boundary, and that's where the defect is actually occurring. Okay, so a low density at the boundary is going to actually lead to higher amounts of defects. So what is it going to cause? So first of all, what I mean by a low density region, so if I get rid of this line, we can have a look, well, okay, here's, that's a region of relatively low density. There's quite a lot of space there. And what that's going to lead to, well, firstly, higher mobility, so the atoms are going to be able to move around more. So it's going to lead to higher diffusivity, so the rate of diffusion from one element to the other is going to be higher, and also a higher rate of chemical reactivity. Okay, let's have a look at twin boundary. A twin boundary is a type of grain boundary. So as you can see here, we have our boundary between two, plane, two different planar orientations here. But what is happening here is we're having a direct reflection of the atomic position across the plane. So it's like a mirror image. So it's directly reflected from one side to the other side. And this isn't really something that happens naturally. It is usually resulting from the application of a shear stress. So a mechanical shear stress applied, creating a direct reflection. A stacking fault is an error in the